All right, I'm always looking for nice little simple projects to do for beginners, and uh, this is one that I found. Uh, now we've done some fish, or we've done kind of a more realistic little fish, but this is uh, looks like a real fun project to do. It's a little stylized fish, is what it's called, and uh, it's one and a half inches thick. And uh, actually, I got this out of an old mallet magazine. Uh, Mallet is no longer made. It's a, uh, but I, I just looked at and I thought it would be a cute uh, thing to do for a uh, beginner's project. Now, this is uh, this is the pattern for it. I can can send it to you because basically Mallet Magazine is no longer uh, uh, in business anymore. So I can draw this pattern out for you and send it to you. It's no big deal. Uh, there's not the like I said the magazine is uh, uh, no longer in existence so we're not really worried too much about pattern uh, copyright or anything like that um, uh, I, I don't even know it doesn't even say who who uh, even made the pattern so uh, anyway now I took a piece whoop and an inch and a half let me throw this over here this over here okay now what I did is I cut out a piece that's an inch and a half wide inch and a half wide now you don't if you don't have a drill press to do this or a bandsaw to cut it out you can just make a smaller one but I went ahead and took a one inch bore and I drilled a hole like this inside the eye now you don't have to do that you can make the eye or whatever but uh, I drilled a, a one inch hole and then I cut out the uh, uh, cut out the the mouth. So we're going to do this um, fish here. We'll kind of drill it across there so I can kind of do that like that. And it'd just be a nice little project for a beginner. Okay. I'm going to take my, first of all, we're going to, it's real simple, we're going to get our boundaries met. The fins are right here. Now, as we look at it, we, you can draw a line down the middle of it to sort of carve on both sides of it, so you kind of get the fins down. Same thing up here. You can carve sort of a, uh, to get them, get them kind of even in such a way but we'll go ahead and make our boundaries here where it's supposed to be now you want your grain to be running this way on the wood okay because most of your carving is going to be done this way you wouldn't want your grain running this way because then you'll be going against the grain so much so you'll be carving this way so you want your grain to be running that way. And I'm going to go on the back side. And I'm going to I'm going to do the same over here. Just take your time. This is a real simple project, and like I said, you don't have to drill the hole. Uh, you can drill a smaller one, or you can just make you one, or whatever. You don't have a drill press. Okay, now we're establishing we're just kind of this is our fins we have down here. Let me get them down a little bit. Kind of look at your uh, project.
Okay. You just start removing the wood. And using your so we're getting that down quite a bit you want to go from side to side you don't want to um, you don't want to take too much off on one side or anything like that you just kind of want to go from side to side to kind of um, Now you're getting it down, see? Okay. Now, see from the point here of course that's got to come way down we'll just keep taking off wood Keep bringing that down. Now a lot of you, it's, you know, I'm, I'm carving kind of close to my knees and stuff and you think, well, you might slip and stuff. The reason I'm doing that, folks, is because I'm trying to get to the camera angle the way I want it to be. So normally if I was carving this, this would not be the way I would be carving. I would be doing it another way. But because I want to line up my figure with the camera sometimes, and that's not always the easiest thing to do, then you know I have to sort of uh, now if we look at that it's getting down pretty good now it's looking pretty good 
Let's get this side down some more. Kind of get a little aggressive here in my removal of wood. But I, I want to get the figure in. When you carve in front of a camera, you want to get it in the area of the camera, so you might have to get your hands in different positions or or whatever to to make it um, seeable. Okay. Now it's going to be even a little bit lower, but let's go ahead and begin working on our fish in this area. Clean it up. And up the tail. This is a good lesson. This is a good project in learning how to shape. A uh, good beginner's project in learning how to shape the, uh, the fish or shape a project. Okay, my time's about up for this particular thing. But we will continue with it. Okay, see our little fish. All right, we'll continue in our next video.